OpenAI has announced the arrival of GPT-5. In an interview, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, told the Financial Times, the company is now working to develop GPT-5, the latest and most advanced model of GPT-4. In this video, I will unveil everything you need to know about GPT-5. Let's dive in. In comparison to GPT-4, GPT-5 will be 10 times stronger. Unlike its predecessor GPT-4, which is limited to September 2021, it will even be current with global events until 2023. As a versatile tool capable of handling various tasks, GPT-5 will be able to produce text that is hard to differentiate from text written by a human. GPT-5 is not without its challenges, making the model larger and ensuring its reliability and security for our use are currently their main challenges. Discussions on how to fix these problems are still going on. I know ChatGPT5 hopes to further revolutionize the way we interact with AI models with their most recent invention. It is unclear when GPT-5 will be completed, as it is still in its early phases. Although Altman did not provide a release date for GPT-5, the algorithm would not be released for some time, even if training started right away. Training may take several weeks or months, depending on its size and design. Then, to make the raw algorithm safe, it would need to be extensively tested under stress and refined by many users. I know one thing for sure, OpenAI is not taking any chances with this new model. Rather, Rather, they are taking their time to get it just right and unveil the optimal model that will benefit people. As everyone knows, ChatGPT4 is the most recent and up-to-date OpenAI model that powers chatbots. However, GPT-5, the upcoming version, is anticipated to be even better with deeper text understanding and error correction. In contrast to GPT-4, which occasionally gets things wrong and provides irrelevant answers, GPT-5 won't make such errors. All of the information is true and appropriate. GPT-5 might be able to produce text that is more logical and and realistic, in addition to handling more difficult jobs like summarizing, translating between languages, or producing various types of creative content. Imagine the high increase in output. Altman has mentioned the need for more comprehensive and diverse datasets for training the new model. This means GPT-5 will not only include data from public online sources, which has been how these algorithms called large language models have previously been trained, but also proprietary private data from companies. Through the collection of a wide variety of data, OpenAI wants to build a model that is not only capable of understanding and producing language well, but also keeps up with the latest developments in the field. Another significant advancement in GPT-5 is its enhanced multimodal capabilities. While text-based interactions have been the main focus of GPT models, multimodal capabilities are anticipated in GPT-5, allowing it to comprehend and produce responses based on both text and other media types, like images or videos. Its data processing is even bigger, faster, and more effective. Users will be able to engage with the model in more varied and dynamic dynamic ways thanks to the integration of various modalities, which will create new opportunities for them. One of OpenAI's main partners is Microsoft. Microsoft has invested $13 billion in OpenAI. Since 2019, the companies have collaborated to develop cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems that they think could be the most significant technological advancements in a generation. Microsoft is a major financial supporter of OpenAI, in addition to offering cloud services. Thank you. 
Altman plans to continue securing financial support from Microsoft and other investors as he pursues his goal of developing artificial general intelligence software that is as intelligent as human beings. We are all aware of the high cost of developing complex AI, which is why OpenAI needs more funding. Sasha Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, and OpenAI Cooperation is based on their shared similar values and goals. I can say the cooperation is going well. OpenAI collaboration is a strategic partnership that goes beyond funding. Microsoft uses OpenAI technology in a number of its products, including Excel, Bing Chat Word, GitHub, and Copilot. Now, both businesses are working together to conduct research and innovate with a focus on the ethical and safe use of aluminum, making sure that it is used for everyone's benefit. Microsoft is not the only partner of OpenAI. To advance AI tech, OpenAI has extensive partnerships with numerous businesses, associations, and academic institutions. Companies like Shopify, Reddit, and Spotify have incorporated OpenAL software into their platforms through their partnerships. OpenAI also collaborates with colleges like MIT, Stanford, and UC Berkeley to support AI education, not to mention its collaboration with governments to establish AI's ethics and social media platforms like Twitter and YouTube to monitor AI's content. These partnerships do not, however, come without difficulties. In partnerships, balancing different interests, duties, and expectations can present challenges. OpenAI must conduct itself with integrity and openness, and also collaborate closely with all stakeholders and partners. The primary objective of OpenAI's founding was to create Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, a deep learning system that is taught to be as intelligent as a person in general rather than just competent in a single area, a kind of AI that can carry out any task that a human can. And in the direction of this lofty objective, GPT-5 is regarded as a critical step, and GPT-5 is seen as a significant step towards this ambitious goal. There are difficulties in developing AGI, both ethically and technically. The use of AGI as a tool by human bad actors, such as those who disseminate false information, carry out scams, or perhaps develop new bioterrorism weapons, poses immediate risks. It's unclear whether artificial general intelligence, AGI, is even feasible, but we do know that it will bring about many exciting changes. It is bound to change us, but we just don't know how. I guess we will have to wait and see what it can do. What task would you assign to GPT-5 first? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.